Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, Miss. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to your English class on Friday. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, uh, let me show you the agenda and the topic for this evening's class. As you can see, uh, we're going to learn about common health problems and advice. How to give advice when you have a health problem. This is the class number four. I want to say congratulations and thank you to all the people who sent the homework. Uh, you did a good job with your photographs or something in the group. Okay. And well, we have two objectives for this lesson. Oh, sorry, this is lesson number four. I forgot to change. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will change that. Lesson number four. I need two volunteers to read the objectives. Michelle, please. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. In this session, you will learn vocabulary for common health problems, as well as listen to a conversation where these new words will be practiced. In the other two? Yes, please. In this session, you will listen to a conversation where common health problems are mentioned using infinity complements. Exactly, that's what we are going to learn. First, vocabulary, and then the structure when using infinitive complements. Mm -hmm. So, um, to start, I have to take the attendance. So please say present, say here. Try as much as possible to have your camera on and to have your full name according to your uh, do it and your ID. So I have to start with Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Eh, Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. I, I have a problem with the camera. No, uh, today, uh, right now, but uh, in, in, ya en un ratito veo como la resuelvo. Pero ya, aquí estoy, teacher. In a moment, okay. Thanks. Uh, okay. Benjamin Quijada. Brenda Adriana Méndez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Eh, Brenda Isabel. Present. Thank you, Brenda. Eh, Brian Steve. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Ise López. Okay. Yes, Daniela, we can hear a lot of interaction, a lot of noise. Okay, uh, Edgar Fernando Portillo, I think he's on the way home. Okay, Edgar. Um, Are Elisa Arely Lopez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Elsie Patricia de Jesús. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Griselda Lisset. Present, Miss. Jacqueline, okay, thank you, Griselda. Jacqueline Liliana. Janet Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Janet. Eh, Jocelyn Natalia. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Xiomara López Rivera. Karen Xiomara. Karina Yasmin Nuila. Veo a Karen Xiomara, pero no, no me respondió. Sí, teacher, tengo problemas con el teléfono, se me trabó. 
Okay, Karen, but now I take your attendance. Karina Nuila. Carla Melissa Colocho Santos. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. Leslie Orellana. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Margarita Abigail Tobia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Estrada Lara. Miley Yamile. Present, Miss. Hey, Miley. Michelle Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Michelle. Roberto Carlos Cuella. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. I'm here, present. Hey, Selma Peña. I'm here. Thank you, Selma. Victoria Leal de Contreras. Present. Thank you, Vicky. And Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, who else? I'm came? sorry for coming late. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, uh, Jacqueline Liliana? No, she's not in the class. Ana Marisol? Okay, thank you so much for connecting on time, people. So we continue with the class. Ah, Elsie Patricia, okay, Elsie, wait a moment. I'm just going to check. Good evening, teacher. I am here. <laughs> eh, Karina. Aquí estoy también. <laughs> eh, eh, ¿Y quién dijo I am here? I am, Patty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, Elsie Patricia is. Okay, thank you. It's because I have a lot of people here. Thank you. Es que tengo mala señal. Okay, Elsie. Elsie Patricia de Jesús. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Nice. So let me share with you the presentation. So in the agenda, we have recalling previous knowledge. Then we have given advice to help problems conversation time and wrap up. So let's begin. Okay, we are going to review the previous class. Uh, what was the topic of, yes, of the previous class? Yes, yesterday, what was the topic? The what? models uh, should and can. Exactly, the models, very good, Benjamin. So in this conversation, these short conversations, we have to complete them using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. So you're gonna help me to complete. So what is in the number one? I decide where to go on vacation. And? Exactly, I can decide where to go on vacation. And you say you, Go to Morocco, it's my favorite place to visit. You should. Show. You should, you should. exactly. You should go to Morocco, it's my favorite place to visit. Okay, conversation two. I'm planning to go to Puerto Rico next year. When do you think? Can. I can, I can. go. I can go. Sure. Exactly. What do you think I should go? Like, what is a good moment to go? And the answer, you can. Exactly. You can go any time of the year. You can go any time. The weather is nice almost all year. Okay, conversation number three. I rent a car when I arrive in New York. What do you okay. recommend? Should. Should, exactly. I rent. Should I rent? This person is asking for advice. Should I? Should I? 
should I rent a car? Ah, <laughs> should I rent a car when I arrive in New York? What do you recommend? Sure. You should. Sure. No. Sure. No. Sure. No. No. no, comma. You should definitely use the subway. It's fast and not too expensive. So no, you should definitely use the subway. Okay. Conversation number four. Where? Can. Exactly. Where can I? Where can I get some a uh, nice jewelry? Jewelry, right? Where can I get? Where can I get some nice jewelry in Istanbul? You can. You exactly. You can't. You can't. You can't means the Grand Bazaar is the best place for bargains. Do you know what bargains are? Bargains? Do you know this word? Bargains? No? No idea? No, I don't have idea. Okay, I, I will give you one example. Imagine you go to the market and you want to buy a t-shirt. A t-shirt and you say okay how much is it uh it's fifteen dollars fifteen dollars um less a less price okay i'll give it in uh, thirteen dollars mm, i don't think so i'm not sure okay you can give it and you can take it for ten dollars okay that's that's a good deal i i'll take it or i'll get it so you offer a price and this uh, the sales person, the salesperson gives you a lower price. La rebaja. Ah, but you it's like a, it's like a regateo. Like a, exactly, los regatear para los regateos prácticamente quiere decir, okay? Very good. Now number 5. What I see from the Eiffel Tower. Can okay. exactly what can I see? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You can you can exactly. see. you can see all Paris, but in bad weather you sure. Mm. Can't, can't. Okay. In bad weather, in bad weather, you can't see anything because it's bad weather, maybe foggy or cloudy, and you can't see anything. Very good. I know, or I can see now that you can use should and can correctly. Very nice. Good job. So now, <clears throat> let's go to the next slide. We have common health problems. We have vocabulary. So please repeat after me. Uh, you can have your microphone off. Okay, so we don't listen to the disruptions or these interruptions. Okay, a headache, a cough, like F, a cough. Cold, the flu, the flu, a stomach, a backache, sore muscles, insomnia. I would like one person to tell me all the health problems. Can I have one volunteer? <sighs> One volunteer to pronounce the eight er, health problems, the eight health problems. Roberto, okay, Roberto. Okay, the first one is 
a headache, a cow, cough, a cough, a cough, a cool, the flu, a stomach, stomachache, a stomachache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, the a back. This is this is pronounced ek ek headache. Ek. Oh, okay. Stomachache. Stomachache. Hey, there you go. Stomachache. Uh, back cake. Back cake. Back cake. Sore muscle. Sore muscles. Uh, the last one, insomnia. Yes. Thank you, Roberto Eduardo. Okay, you um, do you know more health problems besides this one? More health problems, other health problems you know? Uh, maybe fever. Excellent, okay, fever. Migraine, migraine is very common. Ear cake, dolor de oído, ear cake. Dolor de muelas, how do you say dolor de muelas? Oh. Cupcake, no estoy segura de la pronunciación. Yes, that is the pronunciation. Cupcake. Uh -huh. uh, rash. Excellent, rash, yes. Vomit. Nausea. Sore throat. A sore throat, exactly. Yeah, a sore throat. Your throat, garganta inflamada, sore throat. Hangover. <laughs> okay, hangover. After drinking a lot of beers, the next day you have a hangover. <laughs> I don't have to. You know the word. You know the vocabulary. Okay. So those are other health problems. Very common. Mm, another problem we can have is like a get born or a born. Quemarse una quemada. A born. A, mm, cut, maybe. Una cortadura. Cut. And, oh, I forgot this one. Uh, mm -hmm. Cough. Excuse me, Brenda. Cough. Cough. Ah, okay. Okay, you can have a broken finger, a broken leg, a broken hand. Okay. Yes. Um, oh, I was looking for this word, bruise. When you have a bruise, for example, on your arm, it's like when you have purple. Now you get a hit, right? And then you have a bruise. It's color purple, right? Okay. So tell me. Um, can you tell me the health problems you have had recently? What health problems have you had recently? Oh, I have others in the, for example, diarrhea. That is the pronunciation. Diarrhea. Oh, but I wasn't sure about the spelling. It's with H, diarrhea, okay? So can you tell me what uh, health problems have you had recently? Maybe the flu, maybe a cough, cough is tos, maybe uh, insomnia, stomachache, headache, fever. Miley, you say I had... The last weekend, the last weekend, I had the flu, very fever, and very very cold. The last oh, weekend, you had a cold, fever, and the flu. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Um, yeah, in my case, this week, <laughs> I had a bucket. And it was, that's a big pain, the bucket. Yes. And I also had a headache. Yeah, only that stomach ache also. Okay, what about you? Other people? Teacher. Uh, Robert? How do you say, how do you say migra migraña? Migraine. Migraine. You do have migraine? Yeah, sometimes. Um, usually I have migraines. Oh, you suffer from migraine. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry for that. Um, yeah, but maybe because my uh, I work too much. Maybe I don't know. Migraine. Yeah, that is the pronunciation. Listen, migraine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stress, stress. When you feel the stress, yeah, you can get some migraine. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. Depression. Okay. Yeah, when you are stressed out. Teacher, how do you say ansiedad in English? Anxiety. Okay, that's my problem. Just, oh, you have anxiety? Yeah, I have a lot of mental problems. Okay. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Benjamin. Um, those are health problems like fever, like a stomach ache, like insomnia, but the only difference is that we don't see the problem, right? It's not like visible, but the problem is there. I can send you an information that has helped me, Benjamin. Mm, okay, that'll be great. Yeah, um, you can write um, a text message and I can send you the information. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So what do you do when you have a health problem? Miley, what did you do the last weekend when you had the flu? What did you do? Um, I stay in my bed all days. Okay, Miley stayed in bed all day. In bed yes. or just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, that is the and best medicine. And I drunk. I, I drink. Drank, I, I, I drank, drank uh, very water. A lot of water. I, I, uh, a I lot of water. I okay. lot of water. Yes. Did you take um Vido grip or pala grip? <laughs> um, I visited my doctor and. He has me. He gave me. He gave me. Got me. Got me. Uh -huh. Chlorpheninamina. Okay. Uh, acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Uh -huh. uh, and, and tosil. Is a jarabe. Okay. A syrup. Jarabe in English is syrup. Okay. Okay. So he prescribed some anti allergies, right? Yes. Chlorpheniramina. Chlorpheniramine is an anti allergy. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And the, the side up, I think it, it's a cold, no, it's a cough relief. Okay, good. Uh, what about you, Benjamin? When you feel anxious, when you have anxiety, what do you do? Benjamin, are you there? Maybe he had an internet problem. Okay, Roberto, when you have migraine, what do you do? Eduardo, me escuchan. Yes, me. Yes, teacher. Yes, oh, sí. 
Es que a uno le dio ansiedad y al otro le dio migraña. Ah. <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what do you do when you get migraine? Oh, okay. Uh, I take a uh, little pills. You take some pills. Some pills and I shut I shut it off the light because uh, it is it's terrible when when I see a lot of light and what else and I get rest, you know, for okay. for, for a lot of time. Yeah. So, so after that, uh, I don't have any more that thing, you know. Very that, good. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. You have to rest. And you have to. Yeah, that that's. Mm -hmm. And I take uh, like a uh, acetaminophen, or I take a uh, something for for a headache, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, my mom suffers from migraine and she takes Avamigram. That's the name of her pill. Oh, really? Oh. Hmm? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it, maybe. It's yeah, worse, you, you, know? you should ask your doctor <laughs> first. Oh, oh, really? Ah, that's better. <laughs> you should mm. ask the doctor before, but that's the name of her pill, Avamigram. Okay. Well, uh, after talking okay. about illnesses and health problems, <laughs> now we're going to learn how to give suggestions or advice when you have a health problem. We're going to read the conversation. Uh, we have Mila and Kate. So do we have two different volunteers to read the conversation? If we want, but I don't know. I can. Okay, Ana Patricia. <laughs> Ana, and I would like a different person, Roberto, to have to give the opportunity. Okay, to, okay. Thank you, Roberto. I appreciate. It. Maybe Brian, Steve. Okay, yep. Ana and Brian. Light camera. Okay, I am Mila. Yes, you are. Okay. Are you all right, Kate? Not really. I don't feel so well. I have a terrible cold. Oh, that's too bad. You should be at the gym then? Yeah, I know. But I need to run for an hour every day. Not today, Kate. It's really important the, to get some rest. Yeah, you're right. I, sh I should be in bed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pensé que yo había movido algo aquí. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. Continue, please. I should. ¿Dónde estamos? Hi. Okay, it uh, says, well. yeah, you're right. I should be in bed. In bed. Oh. Well, yeah. I have you taking any anything for your cold? No, I have. What should I take? Well, you know, pain medicine, lots of water. So sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Just chop chop up some garlic and boil it for a few minutes. Then add lemon and honey. Try it. It really works. Jack, that's uh, oh. awful. <laughs> Jack, garlic, no way. That sounds awful. <laughs> no, but it's true. It really works. It really works. Uh, my neighbor, mi vecina, my neighbor had a cold and I made her a garlic tea with uh, red onion, honey, lemon, and ginger. I tried it and it was good. It was not so bad. With a lot of honey, it tastes, it tastes good. I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and it's, it, it, I mean, great. 
it's marvelous. It really works. So when you had a cold, I prefer to drink tea than uh, taking pills. I prefer drinking tea and sleep. That's my medicine. Okay, thank you, Anna and um, Brian for the conversation. Now, as you notice, sorry, I, I don't know what happens with my fingers today. <laughs> um, now I have crazy fingers. Okay, uh, in the conversation, we can see when she gives the advice that she gives. Um, can you identify the advice? The pieces of advice? The pieces of advice, the first one. The first piece of advice. You it's really <laughs> You shouldn't be at the gym. Yes, that is the first one. Okay, another, the second. I should be in bed. Okay, that's what Kay says. But what Neil, the pieces of advice that Mila gives. It's really important to get some rest. Uh -huh. Okay, it's really important to get some rest. Yeah, I should be in bed. Okay, and then he has, what should I take? Uh -huh. The third piece of advice. Lots of water. Okay, but in the structure it says sometimes it's helpful to drink garlic tea. Garlic tea. Okay, so we have three ways, three different forms to um, give a piece of advice. Oh, sorry. As I told you, I had some problems with my fingers today. Okay, uh, we have this structure. We can give suggestions or advice with should. You shouldn't be at the gym. You should drink uh, some tea. You should rest. You should be in bed. You should drink a lot of water. You should take some pain medicine. But also we can say it using these expressions. It's really important too. It's helpful too. It's really important to get some rest. It's helpful to drink garlic tea. So that's what we are going to study. Um, and this, uh, I have from this conversation. So now we have adjective plus infinity or noun plus infinity. What should you do? What should you do for a call? It's important to get some rest. It's sometimes helpful to drink garlic tea. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Yeah, to fortify your immune system. Excuse me, Victoria. No sé si entendí mal. ¿Cuál era la que da para qué deberías hacer en el resfriado? Wash to, take some, uh -huh, to take some vitamin C. Or vitamin okay. C. <laughs> the three of them. The three are correct. Yes, it's important to get some rest. It's sometimes helpful to drink garlic tea. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Okay, so what we have to see here is the structure. We have adjective and infinitive. The infinitive to get. The adjective important. The adjective helpful. The infinitive to drink. Also, we have a noun and infinity. For example, good idea is the noun idea and infinity to take. You will see it here. Adjective plus infinity. Eh, a ver, quien me lee? Who read? Who read? 
Hay algunos que no les conozco la voz. I would like to, to meet your voice. Elisa, Eli, you can do it, Elisa. Can you read, please, the sentences with adjective plus infinity? It's important to go to bed early. It's helpful to put some eyes on the affected area. It's necessary to take some pill. It's not good to drink full water. Thank you, Elisa. Great reading. You see, you can do it. <laughs> so it's important to go to bed. We have what is the adjective? Important. Important. Uh -huh. We have helpful. Necessary. Necessary. Not, Not good. good. And then we have the infinitive to go to pull, to, 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 to take, and to drink. Yeah. Okay. Now we can also have a noun in infinitive. For example, Leslie, Natalie, Arishana. Please read the sentences. Son toda verdad o solo una. All of them. This it's a good idea. It's a good idea to drink some tea. It's time to get some rest. It's a good decision to stay home. It's a high, high price to pay. I have some homework to do. Thank you so much, Leslie. Okay, so we have here the noun, idea, time, decision, decision. price, home. home, and then we have the infinity, to drink, to get, to stay, to pay, to do. Mm -hmm. So far so good? So far, so good. Okay. So let's let's put it into practice. Look at these health problems. Choose several pieces of good advice for each problem. For example, the problem is a backache. What is the piece of advice? A backache? Maybe I take some pain medicine. Mm. Uh, maybe I <laughs> take some pain medicine. Letter I. Okay, letter I, yes. A back headache. Mm. Maybe B or E. Okay, letter C, go to bed and rest. And also letter I, right? Take some pain medicine. Okay, what about a born? A born. Put some cream. Little D. On an... Put some cream on Little it. D. E. Little yeah. D. F and also F. put it under cold water. Okay, F and D. A cup. <coughs> Go to bed in red. Could be. Get some medicine. Okay. Yeah, doctor. Take some vitamin C. Okay. <laughs> A lot of. Okay, what about drink lots of liquid? When you gotta 
when you get a cough, you have to drink lots of liquid. Okay, a fever? See a doctor, letter H. Letter E. Letter A. Drink lots of liquid. Lots of liquid, yes. Some pain medicine. The flu, when you have the flu. Then some sick, go to bed and rest. Drink lots of liquid. Okay. Okay. Sore throat. Dream lots. I like it. A sore throat. Dream lots of liquid. Put some cream on it. On the sore throat. Oh, okay. Okay. A cream like like big vaporu. Okay. Yeah. Or or or. Oh, or, okay. <laughs> or uh, Kofal. <laughs> okay, when you have a sore throat. <laughs> like an old man. A doctor, because maybe you have an infection. You don't know. Um, a toothpick. Allergy. Also, take some pain medicine. Or put a heating pad on it. No sé si eso funciona. Poner algo caliente. Uh, heating pad. Or uh, maybe when uh, cold. Uh, <laughs> okay. Very uh, good. Now, um, what about, um, well, 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 you will practice that later. Uh, just. Give me a moment, I need to. Okay. So, we, this is the grammar the structure. And now it's conversation time. It's 8.42, so we have around 15 minutes to go to the breakout rooms and talk about um, health problems or other problems. Not only health problems, maybe you have other type of problems to your partners. For example, you can say, I have a toothache. I don't know what to do. What should I do? What do you recommend me? And then you can, uh, in the different people in the group, you can say you should go to the dentist. You can say it's a good idea to take a, some pain medicine like, I forgot the name, acetaminophen or ibuprofen or oh, I forgot the name of this pill. Well, but it's a good idea to take some pain medicine or you can say for the toothache, it's important to Mm -hmm. It's important to Anaden. Anaden, yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, you can say for the toothpick, it's important to put something cold. Yeah. It will profile some. Okay. So uh, you're going to work in groups, and every person in the group will say a problem, the others will give advice. Okay, the turns doing that. See? Any questions about the activity? Somebody can tell me what you're going to do. ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? No, no entendí, teacher. <clears throat> Vaya. De, um, um, vaya. Aquí les estoy dando el ejemplo, ¿verdad? ¿Sí lo ven? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, vaya. Entonces aquí van a usar esta estructura. Ya se las voy a enviar. Y cada uno en el grupo va a decir que tiene un problema. Por ejemplo, I have fever. I don't know what to do. Entonces, cada persona del grupo le va a dar un consejo. ¿De qué debía hacer? 
usando you should o it's a good idea to or for y menciona el problema it's important to ¿verdad? ¿sí? hoy sí yes ok y si no pues ahí le van a ayudar sus compañeros please go to the breakout room Hello. Hello, who is the first? ¿En dónde mando la? Ah, oh, ya la vi. Al WhatsApp la mando. Margarita, hello, mm, voy a decir. I have a headache. I don't know what to do. For um, aspirin, it's important. Okay, you can say it's important to take some aspirin. Okay, for us, uh, it's important to aspirin. Permítame, subir un poquito el volumen. It's important to take. It's important to take. Some aspirin. Some? Yeah. Okay, some aspirin. Okay, um, I have um, fever. Fever. I don't, uh, fever, I don't know what. Eh, me toca a mí, puedo decir que yo tengo, I have, uh, I have the flu, I don't know what to do. You should to yes. take palagrips and beetle grip. Okay, it's a good idea to. Y ese con que lo vamos a complementar. It's a good idea to. Thank for the recommend. The medicine, ah, but okay. it's a good idea to take a, a palagrip. Ok, people, um, aquí es para darle sugerencia, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I have fever, I don't know what to do. You should take some acetaminophen. It's a good idea to put some um, cold bath, right? Or cold tower, or wet tower. Or for a fever, it's a good idea to... Um, to rest, maybe? Okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay, teacher, gracias. You're welcome. Todas van a decir un, un problema diferente. Okay. Eh, ¿Quién inicia? How do you say dieta, coach? Diet. 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 I have a coach. I don't know what to do. Sería, you should go to bed and rest. Ah, oh, ajá, también. Ajá. Como permanecer en cama. Ok, ¿qué más? Um, take some aspirin. La aspirina funciona para el dolor de cabeza. Ah, yes, yes. 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 Sí. Take, take aspirin. Take, ajá, uh -huh. take aspirin. Um, to take sería, ¿verdad? Yes, I'll see. To take. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is also from the end to visit. El tú. Oh, es que yo creo que el tú va para todo, para, para todo lo oh. que se va a hacer. Okay. Okay. Teacher, dígame. <laughs> Vaya, es, ¿cuál, es, ¿Cuál es su duda en sí? Eh, para ponerse el, el infinitivo era, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Se, sería el tú, tú y el verbo. Exactly. Okay, así, así, así como se los he puesto, ya solo está para, para que pongan el verbo. Para uh -huh. Solo en la primera oh, oración okay. van a poner el problema de salud o otro problema que tengo. Por ejemplo, I have insomnia. I don't know what to do. I can't sleep. Okay. You should go to Take medicine in a nerviotamin. <laughs> you should take some nerviotamin. <laughs> okay. What else? Um, you should take tea. Okay, I should drink some tea. Okay, like maybe pillow, uh -huh. right? Pillow tea. Is good idea to drink tea, the manzanilla. It's a good idea to drink chamomile tea. Okay, chamomile tea. Or tea of pillow. Okay, very nice. Okay, and for insomnia, it's important too. Para insomnia es importante. Is sleeping? Dormir? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no puedo dormir. It's important to sleep, but I can't sleep. A ver. Relax. Mm. Okay, maybe to do some exercise. Uh, to yes. eat healthy. Uh, also, it's important not to see the cell phone, not to see the cell phone, right? Stop to see the cell phone. Okay, very good, very good. I think okay. we're going to finish here and we go back to the main session. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Do it. Okay, I think uh, it's too late. Uh, you want to participate with Martin? Uh, I don't know if you want. You can start and start asking him. And he will answer you by the chat. Who, the, the Brenda or? With Martin. He's typing. The, uh, he's typing? Yep. 
he's typing in the chat. So oh. he can answer you by typing in the chat and you can ask him the question. Yeah, but I don't know what happened with the other guys, you know, because we're talking only you and me and nobody else talking, nothing. If they don't want to participate, there's no problem. So hold on. Hey, can you hear me, teacher? Who's laughing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, Everybody can teacher. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But oh see, my goodness. You are speaking English and you are practicing. Okay. Yeah, we were practicing. Right. Just a little, but practicing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um uh, any group who would like to to share? Whatever. Okay, Martin has the problem. He says that he has a stressful week. What should he do? What do you recommend people? All the class, you can give your opinions. My opinion, it's a good idea my to go to the beach. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. that's right. That's go right. out. That was yes. exactly go. what I was Urgent. urgent. It's urgent to go to the beach. Yeah. I need we all need to go to the beach. <laughs> Another idea? No, that's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you can um um you can go for a coffee with a good friend. You can have a cup yeah. of tea with a good friend. Go to drink a, good idea. a michelada. <laughs> one, only one, only, only one. one. Okay. Eso quita Ana el estrés. Patricia, wow. Oh, okay, Martin doesn't like I need one. <laughs> no, but do you like, do you like micheladas, Martin? It's a good idea. Y el cuerpo lo sabe, Ah, it's Friday and nobody knows it. Okay, maybe um, it's a good idea to go dancing to a bar. Ah, okay, Margarita, say you teach you. Or maybe do exercise. Exercise. Okay. Yeah, Michelle is very. She's a she's a good girl. She, <laughs> uh, good as uh, good advice, and she says you should do some exercise. Says also writing a little that's a good okay. idea <laughs> yeah maybe you should go to the park and run okay or it's a good idea to sleep to get some rest mm -hmm. i guess uh, he needs to drink <laughs> some beers or more water <laughs> Okay. okay, spirit, spirit, um, ¿cómo se dice? Mineral. Bebida, no, bebida espirituosa. <laughs> Ay, es el líquido dorado de la vida. <laughs> okay, people, I, I see that you, we understand the topic of the class. <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher. Very nice. You, Thank you explain you. so good. Oh, thank you, Benjamin. It's, it's a welcome. good idea to, to compliment the teacher. Ah, just kidding. Ah. Today, today <laughs> I know a, spirit, a spiritual drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is the homework. Imagine these situations and get three suggestions for each one. Okay, maybe one, one suggestion would be okay. I sometimes feel really stressed, write one suggestion. I need to study, but I can't concentrate, write a suggestion. I feel sick before every exam. I forget about half the new words I learn. I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. I get really hungry before I go to bed. So these are the situations. And you are going to write a suggestion. Write a suggestion. 
okay? Teacher, I can hear. You can't hear me? I agree with her. No me escucharon? Yo casi no, perdón. No, estoy de acuerdo con ella, porque yo tampoco casi no escuché mucho. Ah, en que, es en que se, se escuchaba así como que alejado. Maybe it was my internet. Well, anyways, the, the thing that you're going to do is that you're going to write a suggestion for each of these situations. Write a suggestion for each situation, okay? This is the homework. Okay. I, I okay. sometimes feel really stressed. <clears throat> okay, uh, it's a good idea to take a walk or it's a good idea to do some exercise. I need to study, but I can't concentrate. It's important to put your cell phone away. Poner a cell lejos, to put your cell phone away. For example, okay, that's the homework. And well, guys, it was a pleasure to see you on Friday night. Teacher, para cuando? My pleasure. Uh, the weekend, during the weekend, you can you can do it during the weekend. You have Saturday and Sunday. And we need to get uh, uh, some rest. Yeah, you need to get some rest. And maybe <laughs> you also have the, the Monday. The whole weekend. <laughs> the whole weekend and Monday. Okay. Before okay. the next class. Okay, before the next class. Thank you so much. And thank you for sending your homework. I was reading and my husband was reading the paragraphs. I put my husband, hey, read, read me all the paragraphs. And they were very nice. So thank you for sending. I um, I enjoyed it. I didn't send it. I'm so sorry. But you can still do it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> Great, okay, have a great night. You are free. You too, now. teacher. God Thank bless you. you. Same to you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a good night. Have a good night. Too. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye.